Wind turbines are an incredible piece of technology. They are the largest pieces of rotating machinery ever built. They work by capturing the kinetic energy of the wind and converting that into rotational motion. And you can harness that motion in windmills by connecting that to a pump or to grind grain. And that's how windmills have been used historically for a very long time. What we do today is we connect them to an electrical generator. And each of these very large turbines can power something on the order of 15 to 20,000 houses. When you then build, 100 or 200 of these turbines, as are happening in some of the largest projects, you now have a very large power station. That's the sort of work that we're working on uh, here in Oxford, is understanding how do these different wind turbines interact with each other, and then also winds in the atmosphere, to better predict how much energy you can get from a wind farm. It's really difficult when uh, international figures uh, spread misinformation about wind energy, What's really important for large bits of infrastructure is that there's consistency in terms of uh, the planning environment. But I think it's also important to note that wind energy has been a real success, costs are coming down, and actually the economics of the system uh, will drive its future success, regardless of what some international figures uh, might like to say.